Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, let's take a look into RabbitMQ architecture. Well, in previous lecture, we have understood some of the RabbitMQ core concepts, right? In this lecture, we will put together all these core concepts and we will understand RabbitMQ architecture. Well, if you can see here, this is a typical messaging system architecture. We have a producer and we have a consumer. In between producer and consumer, we have a message broker. All right. So the producer will basically send a message to the message broker and consumer will basically read those messages from the message broker. All right. So this is how the typical messaging system looks like. But in case of RabbitMQ messaging system architecture, you can see there is a one more component called exchange. OK, so producer will basically send a message first to the exchange and then exchange will route that message to the queue and then consumer will basically consume or read that message from the queue okay so this is the simple rabbit mq architecture but in case of a complex application we need to create a multiple queues in a rabbit mq broker right so this is how the architecture looks like all right so this is a rabbit mq architecture with multiple queues well the producer will basically send a message to the exchange first and then exchange will basically use a routing key to route that message to the respective queues and then consumer will basically consume or read the message from the respective queues okay so this is how the rabbit mq architecture with multiple queues looks like well in this rabbit mq architecture the important component is exchange you need to understand how exchange works and how it will route a message to the respective queues okay so let me explain you with an example consider we have multiple queues in a rabbit mq architecture for example q1 q2 q3 and whenever producer want to send a message to the q3 then what it will do basically it will send a message along with the routing key to the exchange and then exchange will basically use that routing key to identify in which queue the message should be route okay consider we have a routing key 3 then exchange will basically send that message to the q3 okay and consider producer want to send a message to the q1 then what it will do it will pass a message along with the routing key 1 then exchange will use that routing key 1 and it will route that message to the q1 so in this way the binding or link should be established between exchange and q by using routing key okay we will understand more about this RabbitMQ architecture whenever we implement RabbitMQ in a Spring Boot application. Okay, I hope you understood at a high level how the RabbitMQ architecture with multiple queues looks like. And in this course, we are going to you know implement RabbitMQ architecture with multiple queues. Okay, great. I will see you in a next lecture.